Good day, Ender 3 friends. Here is version 7 with the part built on that's going to make it look more snug. Let's see what it looks like when we move it into place. This time I printed it at 0.3 levels and it still turned out pretty darn sweet. You can see this is how I mentioned those supports are so tiny they just slide, uh, snap right off. And yet the print, uh, even with those nubs, pretty darn sharp. Alright, by now you know it's real easy to just put a screwdriver in between this and slide it back. Uh, the trick is going to be to remove the uh, bearing because I want to reuse it. And I'm just not sure I'm going to be able to get it over that edge just because it's always so snug. Alright, so here's plan B. I've got a uh, small kind of socket that's about the right size. And I'm just trying to hold it in place in a vise top tap it back out lo and behold that was successful and now the bearing is ready to attach to our device all right and I'm assuming since this has been used before it should slide on even easier than it did the first time uh, but it is still snug to get on there and there she is tapped into place I'm not going to kid you though, I found a new technique. Over on the vise, I put a small wrench on top and I just tapped a couple times while this was resting on the flat part. So it was able to push into place way easier than I was fighting with it the other way. So let's see how well it fits when we snap it into place. Now remember I added a small chunk underneath so that it should butt up uh, closer to the um, little bracket. Holy mackerel. I think, man, we've got no wiggles. All right, my friends, I'm gonna put the version seven files up on Thingiverse right now. Uh, that, with the combination of a little distance here and this piece that comes as a stop, has got it snug as can be. I'll also make sure that I do the same modifications to the print in place one and the print in place one with the lock. Friends, if this movie's helped you at all, please click that like button. If you want to subscribe, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. And last but not least, if you've got an idea for what we should print next for our Ender 3 or a comment about our snap-on filament guide, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, friends.